All right, this is gonna be round number two. Same sequence, same everything, but my coworker has once again put a problem in the unit, so I'm gonna to try to tackle it and see if I can figure out the problem. So, real life troubleshooting, this is what, what I do, all right? So, here we go. My coworker's in there looking through the window laughing at me, right? He thinks it's funny talking on camera, but uh, anyway. I got the gas on, I'm going to turn the power on, and we're going to basically start it up. I'll do a flashback, show you a screenshot of the sequence of operation. Uh, I still never fix the thermostat, but uh, I'll get around to it. Alright, my thermostat says heat on and uh, I can already hear the inducer motor running so usually that does not happen that quick so uh, we'll let it run for a second and I'm gonna take this cover off and we'll see uh, see what it does well evidently the time delay is uh, not as long as I thought on this one already fired so step one thermostat called for heat step two pressure switch or the inducer motor ran step three the pressure switch closed step four ignition step five the gas valve open step six we proved the flame step seven the blower should come on thought I heard a click for the blower I don't think there's a problem. Actually, there is. So down here on the thermostat I didn't mount last time, I'm still in a time delay on my thermostat. So according to this, I haven't made a call for heat yet. So step one never happened, but the furnace is still running. All right, I can hear the blower on. So we basically did steps two through seven, but the thermostat never called for heat. I'm going to try to turn the thermostat off and see what happens. Alright, so the thermostat just went off. It says off and fan auto. And my furnace is running. Somebody's getting power when they should Now this unit still has a door switch in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to make the, the furnace shut itself off. I'm going to turn the gas valve off. All right. Here. Let me get you a little closer. So, I don't I don't like shutting the furnace off with the heat exchanger hot. So, I believe we've got a thermostat issue or maybe a wiring issue where our our heat just stays on all the time and I've had that happen as well. Uh, lady in the middle of winter had her windows and doors open because the house was 90 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the, the on off switch on the gas valve off and let the furnace die, all right, the flame go out and it'll try to relight but what I want to do is I want to let this heat exchanger cool down a little bit. All right, I, I don't like just turning the power off. All right, because if I open this door down here, the door switch. All right, the furnace just cut itself off. 
So I'm going to take this door switch out of the way. All right. And now I can see everything I need to. Like I said, for me, I just make a little jumper wire with two male uh, ends on it. Um, you can buy these uh, magnet type closures. You know, they're fine too. This is this is just my little cheap method, all right? So, all right, so I got the door switch. Rule number one, if you jump out the switch, you take this with you when you leave. You put everything back factory, okay? So uh, now I'm going to turn the power back on and it's already clicking the inducer motors on and I've got, I've got the thermostat off. I don't know if that's, let me see if that's clear. Right. Thermos, that's all. So this thing is running. All right. If something's running and it's not supposed to, you've got power somewhere that it's not supposed to be yet. So. I'm going to take, uh, there goes my igniter, I'm going to turn the gas valve back on. I want it to run. Alright, so we know that W calls for heat, so I'm going to go from common to the W signal, and I've got 27 volts. Alright, so I've got power on W. and. And I've got the face of the thermostat off, okay? Ooh, look at that. Now it's gonna restart. So even with the thermostat unplugged from the sub base, I've got 27.4 volts on it. So what that tells me is somewhere in this wire, something is touching. I'm going to unplug the W off of the board and see what happens. Oh. Uh oh. The W came off. I tried to unplug W. Something happened there. All right. So, what I could do, what I could do is do continuity on this wire, and with the thermostat off of the sub base, none of these terminals in here in the block are touching. So, what I could do, I'm gonna turn the furnace off for noise. What I could do is go ahead and do a continuity check on this set of wires so i just check my leads i'm good i've got uh, continuity between the leads and i'm going to go from one wire to another one i'm going to go uh oh there we go so we got we got blue to uh to red but that's because we got a transformer winding there i'm more worried about the red and the white wire okay now, I should have pulled it off the screws, but I was trying to check real quick just to see if anything happened because when I touched this wire to unscrew the W from the, uh, or the white wire from off the terminal, it, it started cutting on and off, all right? So, if this were me, I would do a continuity with the wire disconnected. I've done that video, ain't gonna kill it, all right? But what I'm going to do here is, uh, is the continuity for it, okay? So I'm going to go blue, green, red, right, nothing, okay? I'm going to go here, nothing, okay? Here's the one I'm worried about, nothing, nothing, all right. So it looks like something, 
something was touching because the unit was running and I don't know why, all right? So uh, looking at, at how this, this wire is hacked up here, um, what I would find is, um, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can zoom in real quick. If you can see right here on this white wire, there's a, a nick. I hope that comes out. You know, I don't have the best camera, but but right there behind my finger, right at the end of my thumbnail, there's a nick in the wire. And I see guys that, I see there's another one right here on the red. So what I would do here is it moved when I touched this area. So a lot of guys I find when they, when they do their low voltage wiring, they will nick all the wires trying to get this brown jacket off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this back. And uh, matter of fact, since it's just a short run on this furnace, I'm just going to reinstall a new one. And um, continuity like that is hard to find sometimes. But look, look for little signs like those little nicks. If you see a bunch of little nicks on the wire, I would just uh, cut that out and replace it. Because probably right here at the base where they tried to cut that sheathing is all jacked up. So let me do that and we'll turn it back on and see. All right, here we go. I got a new piece of thermostat wire. I'm going to cut this, and a lot of guys use the biggest hole on their their wire strippers. But when you do that, yes, you cut through the brown jacket, and you expose the pull thread to uh, to tear that that jacket even further. All right, that's what that nylon is for. It's there to cut the rest, you know, to cut a cut a a, a seam in that uh, or cut a slit in that sheathing but what you do when you first squeeze that I don't I said I, I hope this comes out look I almost cut through the orange wire just trying to get that brown insulation off and I can see that the blue is nicked the brown is nicked the white and the yellow so I just nicked all those wires what wherever I use my my strippers to cut that insulation out I go back about a quarter to a half inch or so and get rid of all that okay and that's what I'm gonna do here and I know that I'm gonna use this is an air conditioner just a straight AC with heat with a furnace so I'm gonna use white red green yellow and I'm gonna use um, they use blue for common so I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna wrap my spares around and then I'm going to do the other end. So uh, let me get this done. I never cut the spares. Use them because you might need them later. If that, if that continuity issue wouldn't have been that bad, I would have used an extra wire, a spare wire. So uh, anyway, let me, let me do this and we'll get back to it. All right, everything's wired back up. I'm going to put the thermostat back on. Turn the power on real quick. All right, so before I do that, we re-ran the wire. I've got the sub base here. Nothing's happening. I'm gonna plug the thermostat face back in. Let it come up. Thermostat says off, the unit's off. Let me turn it on in uh, and heat. We'll go through the time delay hopefully and see if it, it responds. All right there goes the uh, the ignition or the uh, sequence starting out. Thermostat called for heat. Inducer motor is on. If everything goes well the pressure switch closes. Our igniter, I heard the click on the board, the igniter should start to glow. I can see the orange coming through the burner assembly now. Once we get up to temperature, then the board will send the signal to the gas valve to, to open. Uh, it'll energize the coil. There goes a, there goes the fire there. A couple seconds of running, it should prove the flame. And then after however long of the heat exchanger being warmed up, the blower will come on blow the warm air in until the thermostat tells it not to or that it's warm enough there goes the uh, the full sequence the blower just came on 
So we'll just wait for the room temperature to warm up and satisfy the thermostat. Um, nice little low voltage problem. I've seen that a couple times. Intermittent problems are aggravating. They lead to callbacks. Customers get a little, a little antsy. They want to say something. Technicians, it drives us crazy more than, more than anything because sometimes those little problems you can't find them and pinpoint them until you know three or four calls into it. But um, been there, done that. Can't say enough about it. Just hope it don't happen as much. So. I'm going to throw in some checks that I did on this unit, and uh, we'll call that good. So, until next time. Alright, now the blower's cut off. I turned the heat off and let it run. So, now that the blower's cut off, you can't forget if you jump out that door switch, put it back. So... And that's it. Alright. I cleaned up my mess. The furnace just fired. I'll make sure the blower motor comes on. And then that's it for the video. All the readings are good. And we're done.